Hi, my name is Jeremy Haskell, and this is your Vermont Jobs Report for August 2011 from JobsInVT.com, How Vermont Gets to Work. It's hard to believe it's August, which means we're on the downhill side of it's been another great summer. There's been a lot of speculation recently as to how activity on the national scale will affect our local economy. And while there's no way to predict the future, we can take a look at the activity on JobsInVT.com in an effort to get a handle on Vermont's job market. Looking at our first chart, we see that the number of companies actively posting open positions has continued its slow decline since peaking in January of this year. While not the direction we'd like to see, it's important to remember that Vermont has a seasonal economy and we've seen this trend before. And accordingly, we look for the numbers to reverse directions as we move into the fall. Moving to actual open positions, JobsInVT.com saw a slight decrease in postings for the first time since April. This is most likely caused by employers who are working to fill seasonal positions that have been vacated by students who are departing to return to their classes. While this will probably continue into September, we do expect that as we move through the fall, the numbers will start to increase. So this month, we'll look at the trends of the top categories by the number of positions posted on JobsInVT.com. As for positive news, all the top categories on JobsInVT.com, from nonprofit, sales and marketing, healthcare, customer service, and manufacturing, continue the positive trend from the beginning of the year. The broad range of top categories is very encouraging for the Vermont economy. An interesting point of concern does arise when we look at full-time, part-time, and contract or per diem positions. Typically, as summer starts to close, we see a decrease in the number of part-time positions available. This year, we've seen that the number of part-time opportunities has remained relatively consistent, while there's been a decline in full-time job postings since the beginning of May. Overall, the activity on JobsNH.com has experienced a very sporadic year, with significant fluctuations from month to month. While not a significant red flag as of today, it's certainly something we'll keep an eye on. And as for the overall activity on JobsNVT.com, it's been a very sporadic year, with significant fluctuations from month to month. As is typical, we witness the expected decline in traffic through the summer and expect low numbers again for August as we all take advantage of the last full month of the summer. Keep in mind that as activity increases in the fall, the old adage that the early bird gets the worm rings all the more true when talking about your next employment opportunity. There is no doubt that the economy continues to struggle towards recovery and the fits and starts of job creation can be frustrating. But as we've discussed many times, the world of work is changing and there are more tools than ever to help you with your next employment opportunity. Take advantage of everything that you can do. Use them effectively and you will find success. And that wraps up the jobs report for August 2011. I'm Jeremy Haskell. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, while we make a living by what we get, we make a life by what we give. This jobs report was brought to you by HR Made Simple. Protect your employees by protecting your business. Powered by HR Century.